Art here. In today's tutorial, I'm demonstrating how I blend in Clip Studio Paint, and then I'll show you how to apply my blending method to your artwork. And I'll be using this piece as an example. You can find the full speed paint of cream on my YouTube channel or by clicking on the link in the description below. So first thing, let's talk a little bit how I adjust my brushes, because I adjust the majority of my brushes to blend the way I do. I'm a veteran from Photoshop, and in that program I'm used to adjusting the flow and opacity on all of my brushes. Likewise, I do the same to my CSP brushes. I put an opacity and brush density on the brush, and then toggle them down. How much really depends on the brush. And I do this because it gives my brushes more play to get that realistic or semi-realistic look. Brush density and opacity in CSP work much the same as flow and opacity in Photoshop. To me, a lot of CSP brushes are very heavily weighted in how much paint they apply, so I like to thin that out and lighten it up to give the brush more play and allow me to blend easier. Aside from brush density and opacity, sometimes I adjust the brush's thickness too. If there are any other brush settings already on the brush, I leave them as is to keep the brush's character. Though I do tend to remove color stretch because it messes with how I blend and can make my colors muddy. But you may like it, and that's perfectly okay. It just depends on what your art is and what things work for you or don't. So you do want to experiment with your brush settings a little. For this tutorial, I'm using a brush called Light Oil 2 from Ambelina's Doodle Pack. You can find this for free in Clips Assets. And this is how the brush works on the original setting when you download it, which for my purposes works just fine for color blocking or if I was going to sell shade. But when I add another color over it, it doesn't blend into it really well. And the pack comes with three blenders to compensate for that. You can see here each of those work pretty well. But in terms of efficiency, my logic is why do I need to use four brushes to get the effect I can get with just one brush? And as you can see on the left side there, I do use a lot of brushes. So I'm always looking for ways to be more efficient in my painting process and finding those go-to brushes that I actually need. So on the adjustments I made to Light Oil 2, I added an opacity and turned it down to 38%. I removed the color stretch but otherwise didn't touch the brush settings. And all of these settings can be altered how you like by clicking on the wrench in the bottom corner of the brush settings window. And you can add or remove settings from there. So after making those adjustments, this brush now works like this. And side by side, that may not look too impressive yet, but here's why I did this. This is a color block of my portrait cream, where from this stage I'd start to work on blending and building up my values. Using the original settings on Ambelina's Light Oil 2 brush, this is what it does. You can see the colors just go right on top of each other, much like a hard brush does, but it doesn't want to blend them really well, it's muddy. I actually used the original brush to do my whole color block, so you can see just how unblended this whole thing is, which is why you would need those blender brushes to help finish the job, constantly jumping around between the blenders and this brush to build up your layers. Versus with my adjustments on the same Light Oil 2 brush, it now blends like this. See how it's more tapered and allows me to smooth it out from one value to another. And I don't have to spend more time jumping around brushes. This one brush will do most of the work for this whole piece. Alright, now that we have an adjusted brush, let's talk about how to blend values together. And you can adjust the opacity and brush density on any brush to blend. You don't have to go out and download this specific one I'm using in this tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, I do this to a lot of my brushes to get them to blend the way I need to. So for how to blend, after turning down the opacity and brush density on your brush of choice, choose any two colors you'd like to blend together and put them apart on the canvas like so. And you're just going to start with feathering them out so they overlap a little 
and then just go back and forth between the values using the color picker or alt to pick up the colors and feathering them out so they overlap even more and you get more values to select from. And just keep going back and forth selecting colors and smoothing it out. As you can see there's lines and chunky parts in here so I'm going to smooth that out by selecting the colors around those spots and just keep brushing over them until eventually they disappear. The key to blending is to build up your layers. The more layers, the smoother it's going to get. And that is essentially how I blend in any digital painting software. So, how does this approach translate to your work? Going back to that color block of cream, at this point it's a bunch of chunks of color and I'm going to smooth it out so the colors flow into each other in the same way I just showed you how to blend two colors together. And all I'm doing here is using the alt to select my colors and feathering over the chunky parts and picking up new values they create in between when they overlap and I just keep smoothing it out. Doing just this isn't enough. It's just getting started on building a color range where I'll have to bring more values in which I can easily do by selecting the color in the area where I want to maybe darken or lighten it and grab that color from my color picker. And the takeaway here of what I did by adjusting this one brush is that I really combined the blenders with the light oil 2 painting style so now they all work together in one brush versus having to use four brushes on top of whatever other texture brushes I may use to help bring out other parts of this piece like the hair. And that is my method for blending in CSP. I hope you found it helpful. I used the Light Oil 2 brush to paint this entire piece, minus the hair in the background where I did use two texture brushes. But for her skin, shirt, and all of her facial features, my adjusted brush was able to do everything I needed. Thank you for watching, and happy painting!